Food Series in this episode. It's Eastern Grey Squirrel. I'll show you how to prepare these. Now, uh, out of everything I've shown you, this is probably the toughest animal to skin. The hardy little buggers, they're tough. The skin's tough, the fur's tough. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it helps you out. So, your grey squirrel. Like I said, in a little bit of an intro, they're really tough. Best way with these, you need to get towards the back here. Try and split just under the fur. Help if knife were a bit sharper. That's better. Try and make a little pocket. And then what you need to do, it's a fingers and thumbs job. It's not easy. You have to put a bit of effort into these. I found it's a bit the toughest one. That old coil that I shoot. You be careful around the belly. I don't want to split that cavity. Not until I need to. You can, uh, you can tell how tough it is, you can hear me. You see I'm making a bit of progress. Don't let that lead you into a false sense of security. Still a lot of work to do on this. As you can see, got myself all the way through now. So I'll cut that. I'm not using fur for anything. I do sometimes leave them intact and I'll use it as bait for uh, magpies and covids, crows, that sort of thing. What I'm trying to do now, just trying to separate the fingers and thumbs in there. Try to separate legs a little bit, get legs away. I've done the same thing with a squirrel. It's been hanging overnight. Now it is middle of winter in the UK. So I won't advise doing that. As you can see, in summer, flies will get to it. You will get maggots and that sort of thing. You can see how much fat this squirrel's got for winter stored up. Plenty of fat on it. What you need to do is just need to find pockets like there. Just work it away. That must be a common theme in my videos. On kids' iPads. You see it's working away. It's where you've got your space. And your legs there. And that's what you want to get your fingers into eventually. Just creating that gap now. Just there. Eventually be able to get your thumb through there. Once you do, it comes away a little bit easier. That's gap I'm talking about. Then just fingers, thumb, Pull it up my legs. I'll leave that like that for now. Because obviously that's messy end of any that's messy end of any animal. So I'll leave it like that. I'll pull this over head, clear it back legs first. Same process. Just get your fingers and thumb in, roll skin away. From main body and meat. There's not much on front legs to be honest, so I'm not too concerned if I don't manage to save them. What I will do, I use my knife and get in. I make life a bit easier on myself. I'm 
just get into the leg there if you need to. Use your knife. And you're just flicking skin away. You don't want to cut into meat, you don't want to be running that. There's not a great deal of meat on a squirrel. If you do preserve the whole thing, there's plenty for a meal for one. Add this to a slow cooker. And then just put your veg in, your trimmings, your seasoning. And it's plenty. I'm just looking for that other leg. As you can see it's covered by some fur and skin, but wait a second. I catch my fingers. Just into pockets there with thumb. Just work it away. Does take a bit of brute force with these. It's working away nicely now. And then pockets that I keep talking about, just get your finger and thumb in. You work it, thumbs pop through, and use that as leverage. There you go. Now, what I'll do, I'll take head off at neck. Take feet off, tail, back feet, and it just needs cleaning. Head clean off. I'll take front feet first. That's one. Stretch it out, move your fingers out of there. And your thumb. That's another one. Well, it's left its tail. I'll chop it there. And we're going to, I'll chop it there. Go into the body, take the other side, get it clean. That's that. Nice and simple. So that's what I'm left with. Quite a decent sized squirrel. Like I said, just cleaning now. So that goes in there. Just like a pocket, like with fur. Pull that. Expose your guts. Put your fingers in. Tip top. You want to get heart, lungs. And throw it if you can in one go. And just fingers in. That's it, got a good purchase. Get it all out. Plenty of fat on this. It's been a mild winter so far in the UK. But normally we're not winter fat, you can tell if they're preparing for an hard winter. There's quite a lot of fat on this. So I would say this one's preparing for a few hard months weather. So let's see if we uh, we get some snow. So that squirrel's just had a quick rinse. You can either leave it all or you can quarter it. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to quarter it because I want to make sure that there's no scent glands in back leg. If you leave them in that will just uh, taint the meat. So all that's left to do, I'm just going to quarter this like I say. I'll go straight through shoulders. It's one leg, front leg. Cut into the shoulder blade. Get a bit more meat on this one. Two legs, a little bit of bruising on there. Not to worry about though, it's no major. Right leg, just feel it. I'm just going to go down there, down the edge of the tail, and straight through this part here. Same other side, run it down hip bone. And 
that's that one and really there's not much on this so let's get rid of some of this fat I don't need all that fat nice sharp knife some of that it's just belly fat you can eat it but I found it just uh, it's just it's quite chewy to be honest with you and then I'll run my knife down by the bone either side there and I'm just going to cut it get rid of that rib cage if I just cut it there I can go to the dog I'll cook that up for him this little bit of excess fat and now you're just left with four nice pieces so make sure no sink lands can't feel anything I would imagine they've come out with cavity that's it, not much on them, like I say, that's enough for one person.